It was the first thing I said to him, as though it hadn't been, how long? Since we'd last spoken. The first thing on the other side of our breakup. The other side of my marriage. Nick just nodded. Fair enough, he said. Then he too got to work in the dark, also searching for the visible larger pieces, until he found one of the bottle's necks, its orange wrappings still intact, holding it out to me like a present. This was when I looked at him, first at the bottle's neck, then at him. He was dressed in a dumb Batman t-shirt beneath his blue button-down shirt, and back in his old wire rim glasses again, like he'd never been a day without them, looking unshaven and intent and exactly like himself, which is to say, absolutely perfect to me. I thought you were in London, I said. Uh, I was, he said. He pushed the wire rims higher up on his nose. I mean, I am. Then what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood, he said, trying to make a joke. But his eyes looked tired behind the glasses. They looked sad to me. And we were still on the wine shack floor. There was that. We were on the floor looking right at each other. I moved back, farther away from him. I need to go inside, I said. I'm sorry you came so far, Nick. I really am. But I need to go back inside. And you need to go. Right now. I started to stand up, but he reached out and took my arm gently, like it was his right, keeping me there on my knees. Wait, he said. I came a long way. I shook my head. No one asked you to. Fine. But will you just wait for one second? For what? I said. But I knew for what. Even after so much time, I knew. It was all too familiar between us. Like we could just pick up right where we left off. This was what Nick was counting on. That love would do what it often threatened to do. Remind you that it was timeless. As if that were its entire story. Nick could ask his questions later. We could fight and talk and get nowhere later. We could figure out whether the details of the time since we parted were only details later. But if he kept me there, that close to him, his hand on my arm, his lips moving closer to my lips, if he kissed me there, he could decide that still meant something, maybe even everything. So there I was, about to stand up, about to disengage, but not mid-motion yet. I was about to be mid-motion, but I wasn't yet. I was still on my knees because there is always a moment, between the moment when you might and the moment when you don't. And in that moment, my husband walked in.